All right, fastest 15 minutes on the internet, fastest 15 minutes in social media, and my name is Judson Powell. All right, um, I am the CEO, the Chief Executive Officer, the HNIC <laughs> of Capri TV. So Capri Television, go to capri.com. It's spelled K-H-E. P R I I. There are two eyes at the end. Capri with two eyes. All right. So you can see. <laughs> anyway, look, what I want to do, um, I want to talk to you about stuff that's coming up like in, in the in the future and all that stuff, how I see it. And so we got a lot, there's a lot of stuff out here, right? A lot of stuff just like out here. And I think that, that, that there's some stuff that people are, you know, they're, they're, they're slipping. I think people are slipping big time. And because everything out here is kind of like haywire. It is designed uh, not to make you think, but to put you in your feelings and into your emotions, which was something I was talking about yesterday, right? So everything out here is designed to put you in your feelings and to put you in your emotions and all of that good stuff, right? So here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. It's kind of scary, but then again, it's kind of funny too at the same time. There's, there's, this, there's this evil dichotomy that's like going on and you gotta you gotta like think about it to like figure it out for yourself. I'm not saying and and, I, and once again, as with everything that I do, this is my opinion. This is just my opinion, and uh, you know you're entitled to your opinion as well, right? That because once again, black people are not a monolith. We have a lot of different views, opinions, everything else. We're not a monolith. We got you know, minds that go everywhere. And just because somebody's mind is not exactly the same as yours, it doesn't really mean anything. That's why I've been telling everybody, look, meditate on world peace and diversity. Talk to the spiritual world. Stop talking to these people because they half of them, they ain't gonna listen to what you're saying anyway. You gotta go, you gotta go to a higher authority. Anyway, I'm done with that. I'm not even going, that, that's just my that's just my opinion. You have to go to whatever your higher authority is. You need to go to your higher authority and and talk and ask, right? Because what did we say yesterday, even about manifesting and making dreams come true and making all of this stuff happen? What what happens? What do you have to do in order to make things happen? First of all, you have to believe that it already happened here in your mind. You have to believe what it is that you are. That's the first thing, or that, or that you, or that you aspire to be, that you want to be. So that's number one. So that, so, so you can't, you ain't gonna get nothing, and then, and then you have to plot it out, and then start taking steps, right? You know, I, I told you know the other night. I'm just like, look. How do you eat an elephant? You know, one piece at a time. You know, it's a big mother. You know, but you gotta. But if if your task is to eat that elephant, then you gotta figure out a way to do it. But you gotta break it down in smaller increments where you can like make it happen, right? Hey, make it happen. Nothing is insurmountable. Nothing is insurmountable. You can do any. I never forget one thing. Um, the basketball player Kevin Garnett, and I remember he went to the Boston Celtics. Who I hate the Boston Celtics because I'm a Detroit Pistons fan. But that's that's another conversation for another day. But all I will say is he said one thing after he won the championship playing for the Boston Celtics. He said what? Anything is possible. And I never forgot, you know, because he was like, he was like in his emotions, he was in his feelings and everything else. But the one thing, the one phrase that that the uh, that the that the Most High, the Divine, kept giving to him was 
anything is possible. And I think that that's the, the, the issue that we have here. I think the issue that we have is money versus power. And see, the, the people that sit on the right, on the right hand side of all of this, right? Our right, our right handed, our right handed brothers. <laughs> see, their thing is they want the power because they want to be able to tell you, look, listen to this. They, okay, they're willing to succumb to a dictator. They want to tell you what you can, what you can it cannot do with your body and your life. You know, this one of one of the one of the presidential candidates has already said that, you know, that it was that he's responsible. He took he took credit for it. I'm responsible for overturning Roe v. Wade. But y'all mean to tell me that y'all killing people all over the world, but you know, or, or it's, it's kind of crazy, but you're not really for human rights. Like once you get, you know, they'll get you here, but once you get here, you are on your mother own, right? <laughs> they want you to have a baby, but if you would, like the welfare system is so screwed up because the people that we can save and that really need help, we don't save them or give them help. They got the system rigged so that hey, you know, you're not gonna get you're not gonna get no help or whatever. And then if you say something, then all of a sudden you're what you're this this far extreme, you know, left wing crazy liberal, which is what they put out there. Or or even to take it another step further, they call you a socialist. Now all of a sudden you're you're this socialist, you know, and and they're starting to take this, you know, language thing to different levels. The language thing is is going different levels, right? So now you're a socialist, and and and, and so the next thing, and and look, y'all, they did this stuff during the civil rights movement too. So don't, it's not a new game. You know, they just pulling out their old playbook and going, let's see, what did we, what did we use last time to fuck them up? <laughs> oh, we can run, we can run play number. That's what they're doing right now. That is what they're doing right now. And, and once again, and I know it becomes so cliche and we say certain things all the time, but it's like, wake up to what we're saying. It's like they're playing check. I mean, we're playing checkers and they're playing chess. Checkers to chess. Apples to oranges. <laughs> we not even playing... We not even playing in the same ball games because, like I said, they they want power, they want to be able to control. You. They want you to go to court and stand in front of a white man and tell you what you could do with your body, ladies. But y'all, but y'all, but y'all love this dude, and he's your he's some kind of. Um, you know, Messiah or something to y'all. He done put out a video. Look, this dude done put out a video <laughs> comparing himself to like the second coming. <laughs> right? And then and then what what did uh what did Cat Williams say in the interview? I don't know, you have a tendency to attach yourself to losers. <laughs> That dude and, and his record is a look. If if I applied to do any of the stuff he was doing with with, can you imagine? Can you imagine if if like on Barack Obama's last day he was like, man, f it, man, I'm not going. <laughs> I can't even look. I I thought back to like all the presidents and the and the and the the, the succession of power. 
That's, that's one of the most beautiful things about America. That's what America is. It's like, man, America ain't about all of this. Ins we got insurrections and all kinds of crazy stuff. And yeah, okay. And this dude, let's be honest, all he wants to do is be able to like go down in history and write his his little piece in the history so he could be considered like one of the world's greatest leaders. And he realizes that him losing that second election tarnished his image. It's all about power and revenge and all of those ugly, like that's for, for them, that's what it's all about. It's like a, it's like a little ugly, a little ugly thing. And then to sit up there and then, uh, um, you know, and then to sit up there with the, with the whole different fractions and all this kind of stuff. Y'all heard what Matt Getz said. He's like, you know, we, we got, he, he basically said we got, you know, people that are Latino or Hispanic American and no disrespect, but to my Latino brothers, you know, Hey, they don't, they don't, woo, they don't love y'all. Stop tripping. They don't love y'all. Y'all gonna get the wake up call. In fact, the wake up call has already come. We know there have been cases where people were in the Trump administration, work, been in the United States of America for years and years and years, have paid taxes, have been productive, good, citizens of any place of, of the world. And the Trump administration deported those people. He is on record as saying that anybody that's a, that's an immigrant here is and, and, and hold on, and before we go there, let's realize that everybody is an immigrant except for the indigenous people who are in this place. These turtle, what, the, what they call Turtle Island. Right? But now all of a sudden, you know, it's like y'all trying to clamp down the borders you got one dude, Abbott, he's putting barbed wire across the day. It's like, man, it ain't even that serious. You can't show me no footage of like, show me footage. You know, they got a few little pictures they tried to circulate around the internet. Show me the, fit, the footage of all these people and fentanyl is not made in Mexico. Dummies. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at. You got to you got to decipher through all of this stuff because look, let me tell you, why are they even allowing somebody who has the 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 character? It ain't even got nothing to do with color. It has nothing to do with race, it has nothing to do with racism, it has nothing to do with prejudice, it has nothing to do with nothing like that, but this man's record. He got, he got down on record all of this stuff that he's done to people that are the citizens of this country. And people think that's good? It's good to put down military veterans and to, and to go after the general, the generals that, that are installed to, to run the armed forces of the United States? That, that's okay. It's okay to, to, uh, to put down women as, as sex objects and to be indicted 20 times, over 20 times being accused of sexual assault. Oh, I forgot. We can't say those words. S-A. You have been caught taking money for, for doing deals with foreign governments while you were president. You have been impeached two times. You have all of these counts. You have 91 felony indictments against you. 
you're facing fraud and all of this stuff, but yet and still, he's the best dude that you got. That's the best dude you got? That's your boy? Fastest 15 minutes is up. 